back to no catch your name it's me ella today is friday the 15th of october so it's vlogtober day 15 i don't think i've talked to you today i think i just took like clips that you would have already seen with music over it i don't think so <laughs> i can't remember anyways uh i just thought i'd recap today and then show you my blanket because i've been working on today but um I was here this morning we went to my doctor appointment the OB appointment and we had to get another ultrasound because at the anatomy scan last month um she was head down and face down so they couldn't see her face or her heart uh the way they needed to or her belly button um uh, you know where the umbilical cord is attached uh yeah so today she was laying head up but still face down her head was right at my right above my belly button like right there um and so he was able to see more and then eventually she moved and she was able to see everything but uh during that sound i got horribly sick again just like last time and it never happened with jesse but it did last time with her and he was talking to me today about how it's normal which i already looked it up before that and knew that it was normal it happens to some women and uh, it was horrible i almost fainted <laughs> I got super nauseous and like I flushed hot and then my hearing just left. I couldn't hear him or Devin. And uh, so I had to roll over onto my side and I had, he had, he gave me a trash can because I thought I was going to puke everywhere. And uh, after a few minutes, it, you know, went away after I rolled over. Um, but he told me, you know, I, he asked me if uh, I almost passed out and I said, I think I did. <laughs> and he said that hearing always goes before vision when someone's about to pass out. So. That's why people can't hear you when you're like trying to, you know, hey, hey, you know, trying to get their attention. But yeah, my ears just completely like stuffed up and I couldn't hear anything that was going on in the room. It was just horrible. But it only lasted a few minutes and then it was, I was better. And he was able to finish. He finished the rest of the ultrasound with me on my side, which ended up being a good thing because it made her shift. Um, and he was able to see her face. We did get uh, some profile pictures. They're not the best, but they're good. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people aren't good at looking at uh ultrasounds because when you see the face when you see her head it's her skull that you're seeing and then you can see like a light halo around her nose and mouth and all that that's her the flesh part of her <laughs> so uh, for some people they just see the skull and think that that's the bone structure and all that but it's 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 literally the bones it's not the you know the flesh on top of it but uh we got a good picture of her face and then he's got a picture of her to like pushing her lips out and you can see her little lips sticking out it's just cute i'll try to insert those if i can do it if i can remember hold on devin text i gotta answer him <laughs> okay he was letting me know that he got to work but uh yeah so the rest of the appointment went okay um everything she's right on track her growth is she's approximately according to the ultrasound but i do not trust that <laughs> uh 1.7 pounds but i reason i don't trust that is because Right before I had Jesse, when I was like 30 something weeks pregnant, they told me Jesse was gonna be like seven pounds and he was nine pounds and one ounce when he came out. So I don't trust that weight uh, guesstimation at all. <laughs> but um, her, you know, her uh, her sizes and all that is round track. Everything on her is fine except two things. And they're not major issues. 
uh, the the doctor told me that most of the time the the two issues that she has uh, fixes themselves but sometimes they don't so they just have to keep an eye on it so now that means every ultrasound between now and her coming <laughs> uh, I mean every appointment between now and her coming I will have to get another ultrasound so they can track the issues and one is with her heart and one is with the placenta He's just playing with Legos. <laughs> He's building like boats and spaceships and playing with them. Anyways, but uh, the heart is uh, a thing that she's not worried at all about because she says, um, you know, like 99 times out of 100, it fixes itself. The placenta thing, I'm, I'm a little bit more worried about just because uh, I'm paranoid and I had two miscarriages last year. But uh, my placenta is not all the way attached to my uterus. So uh, it could affect her growth. It hasn't yet because uh, she's right on track, but that's why they're going to be doing ultrasounds every single appointment now, uh, which is probably going to cost a lot of money, but because um, after insurance, our ultrasounds are right around $100 each, but I don't know if they'd be, because I'm technically high risk already, so that should, the insurance should cover it more, I don't know, I don't know how that works, but uh, I'll be calling them for sure to see, because uh, ultrasounds are expensive, but anyways, um, I was looking it up. I can't. I can't pronounce it. It's called circum circumvallate uh, circumvallate placenta. It's where it kind of bowls up, so not all of it's touching where it needs to be attached to the to the uterus to get nutrients and stuff. So only part of it is touching get nutrients. So as she gets bigger, she could get less nutrients because of less space covered. That makes sense. <laughs> um, which could cause her slow her growth to slow. So that's why they're gonna be monitoring me. And if her growth slows too much, they might have to do early delivery, which is scary. But statistically speaking, because I'm a numbers person and I did a lot of research today after they told me that, um, usually it doesn't even affect the baby. It's just those are things that can happen. Um, but yeah. Statistically speaking, a lot of times I don't even know women have that until they deliver the placenta and it's weird shaped <laughs> instead of regular shaped. Uh, so that's that's kind of comforting, <laughs> but I'm also paranoid, so I'm still worried to death that something's going to happen about that. But so far she's right on track. She measured exactly, today I'm 23 weeks, two days, and she measured exactly 23 weeks and two days. And um, she grew a lot weight-wise because the last appointment a month ago, she was me measuring nine ounces and this this point she was measuring a pound 0.7 so she gained like 14 ounces in the last <laughs> um month which i guess is normal i don't know they didn't say anything <laughs> yeah so i'm a little worried about that i'm trying not to worry about it too much but it's hard not to think about stuff you know <laughs> when they tell you and then the heart problem you know i just i hope that, that they just both fix themselves <laughs> and everything's fine because i really would hate to have her early multiple reasons one because uh she won't be done cooking you know she might have issues and two because financially that would be bad <laughs> she'd have to be put in probably NICU I'm assuming and uh that would probably be expensive <laughs> I'm not sure how that uh I'm not sure how that our, our insurance would cover that <laughs> but uh you know someone just have to deal with if that happens but hopefully it won't happen luckily though um you know I'm getting further along my pregnancy so hopefully if she does have to come early hopefully it's later early so like in the 30s sometime but uh yeah anyways i'm trying not to worry about it because there's nothing i can do about it <laughs> so uh yeah i just wanted to fill you guys in and we came home after that dropped off Devin so that he could get something to eat and go to bed because he has to work tonight he's actually he's at work right now um i mean Devin, me and jesse <laughs> went to the post office to drop off all of the orders from etsy shop and uh we did that and then we came back home I wanted so bad to stop and get fast food, and Jesse did too. <laughs> he was asking for Burger King. But um, I told him, I was like, no, we gotta stop eating out so much because we need to start spending so much money on stupid things. Uh, so I came home and made some baked potatoes, and they were delicious. By the way, I took a picture or a video, <laughs> and uh, they were really good. I don't think I've baked a potato in forever. I don't remember. I know I have done it before, it's just been a really long time since I've done it, but they were good. And I, I baked two extra ones, so if I wanted one later tonight, and then also if Devin wanted one in the morning, uh, we'd have extra ones. <laughs> Kids go by on a scooter. We got a sidewalk, you know, that's like in chunks. 
you know, squares. So when they roll down the, the scooter, it um, makes the bumping noise. Anyways, baby appointment aside, <laughs> I came home and I quilted a little bit. I quilted all the um, Notion Pouch outer parts. They're not attached to anything yet. It's just the fabric and the batting. I quilted them together and I did two of the project bags. <laughs> one that will be in the shop and one that I'm making for my aunt who my mom asked me to make her a bag. Um, so I'm making her a bag. So I still got a whole stack of project bags to quilt but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I got I started getting tired and, and didn't want to push myself so I, was, I just stopped <laughs> and I lint rolled myself because every time I quilt for some reason I wear black clothes and then they get all fuzzy. So I have to keep a lint roller in there because I, I lint roll bags anyways when they get a lot of the uh, poly polyester <laughs> batten on them. So I have a lint roller. I have a bunch of them in there. So I lint rolled myself down <laughs> and um, I was going to go to Walmart because I need some lunch meat, but I didn't feel like doing it. So I'll just do it tomorrow. Devin's off work tomorrow. So I'll just it's easier to do it tomorrow. And what else did I do? I crocheted a little bit on my blanket. I did a little tiny bit of cleaning, not much at all. <laughs> Mostly sat around and watched TV with Jesse. Uh, he's playing with Legos. He spilt a, his huge container of Legos that just everywhere. But I mean, Devin picked him up and it's okay. <laughs> That's what he's on for Christmas too, is more Legos. And I'm like, oi. <laughs> Cause he's already got so many Legos, it's not even funny. But uh, he plays with them, so they're on the Christmas list. I need to order those because I'm hearing that a lot of toys are going to be hard to find around Christmas time. But they said that last year too. And I never had an issue last year shopping. So, I don't know. But whatever. I just, I don't like fear mongering. And that's why I stay away from the news because I feel like most of it's fear mongering. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. What else I did to say? I crocheted some more on the blanket. I crocheted a little earlier on it and then I just crocheted on it. And I actually pulled out some more scrap balls to put into it in a little bit. And I want to work on some more of my Vlogmas ideas because I'm trying to work on it now so that when December comes here, I can do Vlogmas without being stressed out about it uh, because I'm going to be more pregnant. What's up, chicken butt? I'm hungry and I want some pepperoni. All right, so I want to show you my blanket. It's gotten big. I feel like it's grown really quick. Uh, let's see. The first color that I put in today was bright yellow. Let me find it. Uh, right here. So I've put about two and a half rows. So I put this bright yellow going through there and then purple I put a whole big ball of purple in there it went around a lot so there goes the purple the purple the purple and then it keeps going <laughs> where does the purple end purple 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 the purple did like a whole round where did it stop at right here and then I guess I put in more bright yellow because <laughs> there's more right there right I don't know that's the bright yellow and the purple <laughs> I'm confused now. I confused myself. The purple and then I all right, I confused myself. Okay, the green is where I stopped yesterday. So I added this bright yellow. Let me follow it. Right. I'm so confused. Why am, why am I having such a hard time braining this? Okay, I'm pretty sure the green was where I stopped yesterday. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Okay, I added this section of bright yellow. It was really short because it was just a little glob and then a little tiny bit of black right there because again, it was a little tiny scrap ball. I'm so confused. That's not right. Why am I confused? Okay, when does that green end? Okay, I got it now. <laughs> added this yellow, and this right here is where it goes up. So I attached my, you know, my yellow increase to right here. There we go. I got it now. And then I added the purple, and it did a whole round and some. It made it to here. So then I did this little tiny bit of white. I had a scrap ball. And then I added this bright orange. And it went to there. And then I added some spring green. And it went, it went uh, most of the way. I think it went all the way around because it was a bigger scrap ball. <laughs> it went to here and then I added this black. And it was, it was a decent sized scrap ball. And it stopped there. <laughs> Lord of mercy, it took me a minute to bring that. But yeah, so I added 
like four or five little scrap balls already today and it's about th the two and a half rolls and then I'm gonna I might sit down and do these three I don't know now <laughs> I'm confused but I just pulled these out of my scrap bin I'm trying to just pick colors that um, are similar to the ones that I got in my burn ball swap so that they kind of all mesh together and yeah it's looking good it's pretty big don't know how good I'm gonna be able to hold it for you <laughs> not good at all it's getting big it's like the size of a baby blanket right now but I want to make it bigger I'm probably gonna keep just putting scrabbles in it until I run out of the colors that I'm using and then I'll just pull because I have a bunch behind you <laughs> of like um half used skeins and there's some that's full skeins but most of them in here are my solid color half used ones from amigurumis uh I'm just gonna keep putting it until around Halloween and then I will finish it up and it'll be done and ready for Halloween next year. I need to stop and tie in all the ends because there's quite a few of them on it now. So it's not so overwhelming. But uh, yeah, I'm loving this pattern. <laughs> I'll probably make something for the Christmas one too. They're talking about doing a Christmas one. But it's going to be squares with appliques on them, which would still be fun. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to do that scrappy thing. Because I really like the scrappy things. But I do have that boho hobo ho yeah boho because hobo is not nice boho book that was gifted to me recently that is scrap projects so i could also just make that and then make the christmas blanket but i do also already have a christmas blanket going so maybe i should finish that one first <laughs> i don't know but um yeah so i think i'm actually gonna put this up for tonight since i just confused myself about it but they're just folded so it's pretty big i need to put some more appliques on it and i think i'll go sit at the computer and watch some either youtube videos or netflix and work on some more of my vlogmas um oops there's a thing down there <laughs> my vlogmas um projects that i'm working on so that i already have them done and not have to stress about it in december and just relax and watch tv and stuff you know and uh yeah so tomorrow is saturday we don't really have any plans tomorrow devin has gotta go to his dad's at some point to help him move uh like a truck a truck camper thing what's the thing called the top part that goes on the back of your truck the bed i can't remember what that's called but like that cover thing and his his dad has a ginormous truck <laughs> it's big old it's like an extended cab with an extended bed so it's got a big long bed so he needs help moving its um hood thing i don't know what that thing's called <laughs> out of the garage because he's trying to clean out his garage and organize it uh so we'll probably spend some time over there hanging out and uh letting jesse play weather's supposed to be nice tomorrow we were gonna go to boo at the zoo tomorrow night but i'm just not feeling it i don't want to, i don't want to drive all the way to nashville and walk around for like an hour plus and then drive all the way back <laughs> um that's something we're just gonna have to pop to next year i think because of me being pregnant and but we are on sunday we're still going to the pumpkin patch so that'll be a lot of fun i'll definitely vlog that i don't think we're doing anything else tomorrow i'll, I'll get some sewing in and some crocheting in I need to do some cleaning. I need to clean the bathroom. <laughs> I need them off the floors. I never did the other day. Um, but Jesse goes back to school Monday. So I can uh, do a lot of stuff then, you know. Because when he's at school, Devin will be asleep. And I can sweep the floors and mop them. And I can just sit on the couch crocheting until they dry. And there won't be footprints everywhere. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be probably a lazy day then. Because I don't think we have any plans tomorrow, which is really weird. <laughs> Usually on the weekends that Devin's off, we uh, are busy all weekend. But I'm looking forward to the pumpkin patch. I'm a little worried that I'm going to be tired the whole time. We're going to have to walk really slow and take a lot of water with us. And uh, just, it's going to be nice though. It's going to be like, I think the height for Sunday is 64 degrees. So it'll be nice and comfortable for me and Devin to just sit around and watch Jesse play. Because the pumpkin patch we go to has all kinds of kids things. Uh, inflatables, big giant bouncy thing. I don't know what those are called. Big inflatable trampoline thing. Um... All kinds of like pipe type slides and stuff and then there's the pumpkin patch and it's also on like a farm so it's like old buildings and stuff you can walk through and uh it's got snacks <laughs> we'll probably get some snacks yeah it's all fun i'll vlog it it's the same one we went to last year so if you watched the vlogs last year uh it's that one i wish i could get my whole family to go with us again this year but all the guys are on different work schedules my husband my sister's husband and my brother all work at the same place but their schedules are slightly different so that sucks but oh well 
it's a laugh when you grow up. That's like one of the worst parts of growing up is when you're a kid, you know, you spend every single day with your siblings and you're close. And then when you all grow up and move off, you don't hardly see each other <laughs> and it sucks. Uh, I live close to my siblings, but we just, you know, we have busy lives so we can't see each other. I'm glad that I live really close to my mom so I, I can see my mom pretty much anytime I want to. So I like that. But yeah, I've been talking for a while. I'm going to go put my spider blanket up. I might, if I think about it later, I might sit and weave in the ends on that, but I'll probably forget. <laughs> but I'm going to go um, work on some of my Christmas projects and watch some videos. I don't know if I want to watch YouTube videos. I'm caught up on my crochet videos, but I got a whole list to watch later on my like family vlog types and cooking types and all that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch that or if I want to watch some more Chicago Med. I'm trying to finish it. I'm on season five. So I got a, a f I'm on season five, like episode four. So I basically have two seasons left because it's all the rest of five and then all of six. And then I'll be caught up on that. I don't know if they're making that anymore. I don't know. I have to look. But then I'll, after I get done watching, I'll have to find something else to watch. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in a vlog tomorrow. And also I'm going to do a No Kitchen Name episode tomorrow. I'm going to try to. Because <laughs> I got a bunch of finished objects. And I worked on some of my whips. So I'll share them with you tomorrow. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys. Bye.